So these are caterpillar eggs. You might think beautiful butterflies are beautiful, but they can do a lot of damage to their little babies. So this is the kind of damage that they do. This is caterpillars. If we turn over the leaf of any brassica, like uh, cabbage, kale, or um, anything like that, they, these are the tiny, weeny little caterpillars, but they soon, there's hundreds of them. So we can soon do a lot of damage. You can still eat these if you're vegetarian and wash it, but they can soon munch through a big plant. So you can either squish them, um, once they're on there, it's just a case of vigilance. You can wash them off with washing up liquid. But to prevent it, the butterflies coming and laying their eggs, you need a net small enough so they can't get through the holes. So this net is absolutely brilliant. This is like a um, salvage net off a building site. But you need to make sure that they can't get in there. So we need to kind of wrap it round tend to go not like at ground level but this kind of height and then put a peg just a washing line peg on there and then the same at the back so we got the sticks just any old stick slightly higher than the plant and then they'll be nice and snug in there and safe from butterflies laying eggs um, or what I do is I just plant lots and lots and they don't tend to go very much for African kale, so I use this African kale and I just plant lots and some of them are untouched, some of them are touched. But another pest is birds. So I've seen this example in, um, like as an old, and old really old um, way of protect, uh, putting off birds from pecking at your seeds and your crops. They can do a lot of damage, especially pigeons. So... Um, you can use net, but obviously you can use like um, they won't get through the net, or you can use other things to scare them away, like this pretend bird. We've got a milk bottle that rattles around in the wind and puts them off, and also things like it's just a recycled carrier bag cut into strips, so anything like that puts them off. Another pest is cats who will scratch up the ground. So just any little sticks will stop them and they love a, just a dug over uh, piece of ground. So any sticks will do to stop them getting in there. And also pieces of chicken wire. So you, if you've got some little seedlings like this, you can put the, the chicken wire over the top and it stops them lying on it as well and stopping your seeds from germinating. So you can do all sorts of little things to put the cats off. Um, the other thing that you suffer from might be squirrels. And this will do just as good for squirrels because they, they try and nibble at your things. And also they try and dig up to plant there to put their um, little nuts in to bury their nuts. So this is good for cats to putting off cats and squirrels.